excess exhaust smoke is something that is very common on older diesel engines. It's certainly something you don't want to see, and it's particularly something the people driving behind you don't, or you're going to get somebody honking at you. I'm sure you've all seen that diesel cruising down the freeway, just pouring black smoke out the back end, wondering, well, doesn't this guy know that his diesel is smoking? There's a number of things that cause diesel engines to smoke. I get an emails all the time asking, Kent, hey, my diesel smokes, how can I fix it? It's usually a combination of things due to age. The products you see here on the table are products that we have developed over time to help the owner diagnose and fix his own smoking problems. You know, there's different colors of smoke. There's smoke that happens at different times. Sometimes it happens at startup. Sometimes it happens during acceleration. And understanding the different t colors of smoke and the different times that smoke occurs can really help you diagnose the problem and know where to start to fix it. Now, I don't have time in this video to go over all these aspects of diesel engine smoke, but I have written extensively on my website about the problem. Uh, going over each color of smoke, uh, either black, blue, or white, and then explaining what are the possible reasons for that type of smoke, and then telling you about the solutions. So if you want to learn more about this, you can uh, just click on the link in the description of this video, and it will take you right to those uh, details on my website. Now, every once in a while, I have a great success story. You know, if you're dealing with uh, exhaust smoke, uh, fixing it could be as simple as doing a diesel purge on the engine, cleaning out your injectors in your injection pump. Sometimes it can be something as simple as just replacing the thermostat to get the engine to run at the proper operating temperature. Well, I had a problem with exhaust smoke on my 300 SDL. Of course, I'd, I'd gone through a lot of different things and tuning it and, and rebuilding the injectors and so on. But Boy, when I'd get out on the freeway and punch that thing really hard, I'd get a lot of heavy black smoke billowing out of the exhaust. It only happened under heavy, heavy acceleration. So I became a little suspicious that it was probably looking at something, um, you know, other than what, you know, that I had worked on. I knew that it had to be a fuel, an overfueling problem. In other words, an extreme rich mixture of fuel and I decided, okay, it was time to pull the turbocharger. And you can't believe what I found on the turbine wheel itself. The veins on this were exceedingly worn. It's probably the worst I've ever seen. And it became very obvious that this turbocharger was not spooling up fast enough. Remember, when you hit the throttle on a turbo diesel, you're putting a certain amount of fuel into the engine and at the same time, the turbocharger has to be spooling up fast enough to force the air into the engine to provide proper combustion. Well, that wasn't happening on that 300 SDL, so I went out and got a brand new turbine wheel and shaft, a new compressor wheel, completely overhauled the turbo, and just a couple weeks ago, we installed that rebuilt turbo in that six-cylinder diesel. And guess what? Yeah, you've got it. I floor that thing at 60 miles an hour and there is literally no smoke now. So that's an example of a success story and how to fix your own diesel smoking problems. In the future, I'm going to do, a, I'm going to continue to do some videos. I'll do a video workshop series on dealing with diesel engine smoke and performance problems. Usually loss of power and smoke go hand in hand and a lot of the causes that create excess smoke also are going to give you low power or poor performance from the engine. So just stay tuned for future videos on this subject.